Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Garage Rehab. So, a uh, little bit of an update. We are getting ready for Snowmageddon. Out there it is currently about 26 degrees and they're saying it's going to fall to the teens. And they are expecting between 6 and 19 inches of snow, depending on how bad this hits us. So uh, we're trying to bed down in here and make sure everything can survive the super cold. So I have a water line that goes up and over and all the way to the uh, hot water heater for the outside um, spigots. And that is shut off here at the water heater uh, right there on that knob on the top. So there's no water in that line at all. I made sure I cleared it out from the other end too. Um, the little bit of insulation that they have here. Uh, I've kind of wrapped it with tires and stuff, um, but hopefully everything holds there. We, we have had quite a bit of um, freezing temperatures lately, um, and everything has seemed to be fine so far. It's mostly just the snow. The big problem is, is this is a rental, and the ceiling is bad. The roof is bad, and it leaks through there, um, and it catches into my bucket here. So right now we're, we're empty and dry, but at least I got it there to catch it. Over there seems to be starting to leak now too, uh, but it just leaks onto the hot water heater and the spoiler, and then the only thing down there is the tires. The, none of the cardboard is touching the floor, so I'm not worried about anything uh, over there getting water damage. But yeah, I'm just trying to make sure everything is good to go. The HVAC system for the house is all working great right now, so um, you know that's nice. But as far as the garage goes, like I think we're as set as we're going to be for uh, Snowmageddon. But while it's snowing, I hope to continue more work on here. So you guys saw on the uh, the time lapse, which I'm still working on how to do those. Um, but I cleared out a ton of the boxes, and I've done more work since then on just getting rid of recycling and, and just getting stuff out of here. Uh, I worked on the tool cart a little bit. I got the rolly part built. Um, I still got to put the legs on it and put the top on. Um, but I kind of need to help her. That thing is heavy. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. I don't know if you could tell, I was struggling with it in the um, in the video because I couldn't figure out how to open the, the drawers. Let me show you on these. These drawers, even with the top open, they don't just open. There's a little um, switch underneath you have to pull. You see that right there? So just FYI, if you get one of these rolly tool carts from um, Harbor Freight, that that's how they work. They got that little switch thingy on the side. I had no idea. I didn't. Had to, had to do some digging to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, I got that figured out. Pretty happy with it so far. And I've started loading some tools into there. I'm kind of trying to organize first. That way I'm putting things together where I want them and like the same things in the same bins. So, uh, but yeah. And then I've also got to uh, do an oil change this weekend on Project Mazda. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the update for now. So I know it doesn't look like much progress, but I've taken two loads out to the recycling center. Um, like I said, we don't have curbside recycling here, which sucks, but I, I, just, I can't throw any of this stuff away when it could be recycled. So I filled up Project Bronco twice and uh, brought it down to the recycling center, gotten that stuff out of here, worked in the box, and then made sure everything was weatherized as much as we can for uh, the coming snowmageddon. But yeah, so hopefully this weekend, while I'm snowed in and literally can't go anywhere or do anything... Um, I can spend some time out here. I'd like to get that box finished up. I'd like to get all of this put into that. And then one thing I was thinking about, and, and I got some questions for you guys to do lots of garages. It, it, it's a rental house. like I can't do much to it. And I, I like leaving this cabinet up because the tool cart like slots under it perfectly. This one's kind of in the way. I bought a big... Um, metal shelf you know like one of those six tier racks to put here to put like the bins and other stuff on what i was thinking was um undoing this from the wall and then just setting it on top of this bench that's too high to do anything with i know there's like a miniature pegboard behind it but it's it's useless and there's a whole wall of pegboard there so i was just gonna like set it on top of there for now and then um like you know when i move out put it back on the wall um just, you know, does that seem like a good idea of something to do? Because then, like, I still have this cabinet storage space, but, like, that shelf is, like, it's just too high. It's useless. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm not tall or anything. I'm just a average. But, like, look, it's, like, at my armpit. So you can't, like, like, you can't even really reach the back without, like, hurting your shoulder, even with nothing on here. Um, whereas that one, I don't know, maybe there's, they are the same size. I don't know. I can't, I can't figure out what to do with that. It's just, it's in the way 
of that shelf. And I don't have anywhere else to put the shelf because over here they've done built-in shelves. So I can't put it like in front of those shelves because it, it just, you know, I want to use those as shelves too. And then on this side, we've got the pegboard and then the electrical box. So the only spot I can really figure out to put that big shelf is right there. So I'd have to move that cabinet somewhere. Um, so if you've got any other ideas of where I could put that cabinet, uh, where it would be useful, let me know. And um, I'll try to rehang it and, and do that. So yeah, I wanted to wanted to ask that of you all. Um, but yeah, that's that's where garage rehab is at the moment. Like I said, it's it's kind of slow going and, you know, work full time and go to school full time and kids and all that jazz. But I am making progress one step at a time. And and that's just, you know, that's how you got to do these kind of projects is a couple of minutes, you know, here and there after work every day or before going to bed. And, you know, when you get lucky, you spend a half an hour or an hour on it and I'm starting to make some progress. So, uh, yeah, things are, are coming along and, and I know what to do next. And, yeah, just wanted to get some uh, some advice on that. So if you got something, uh, drop me a line below. I'd appreciate it. And until next time.